kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part three of my video series on professional sound recorder using Android Studio. All right, guys. So first of all, we need to uh, set up our uh, app themes and colors. Okay. So let's get started. So first of all, let's click on colors, and inside that, let's define some colors. So we say colors name equals to primary, and there we will have f four four double three six, and then we have. color primary dark okay and there we will have hd 32 f 2 f similarly we will have a couple of colors here which we will be using inside our android okay so first of all let's try to change it to primary the color primary will let change it to hash f44336 and then we will have a uh, color primary dark as hash d32f2f and then we will have the color name will be primary light then we will have color primary text then we will also have a color color accent and let's first of all change the color accent to one zero seven then we have primary light color primary light hash ffc dd2 then we have primary text color <laughs> let's change it to as two one two one two one and then we will have secondary then Seven two seven two seven two. Then we will have a color divider. Then we will have a text. Then we also need a color. Hash, and then we need a color tab strip, and that color will be B four two nine two nine. All right, guys. So we have set up the color. Then we need to go to our styles, and inside that, let's remove that, and let's try to first of all let's see a theme. Okay. So here in our styles dot xml, so we need a style. Sorry, style, and the name of the style will be app theme dot base. And the parent will be theme dot app compat. dot light all right similarly we will have another style and that one will be of a theme and the parent will be uh, will be theme dot app compat dot
sorry so the parent will be app theme dot base and inside that we can have some item and the name of the item will be color primary and then we will set it to color primary then we will have another color color primary dark all right then we need an another item and that one will be window action bar and we will set it to false and then we will have window no title and that one will be true all right so let's save that and now let's see we don't have anyone anything here all right so now this is our main activity and inside our main activity so first of all let's change it to linear layout and after that we need to change it to web content web content and the orientation will be vertical okay so now in our layout type we need another layout of the type toolbar so here we can have to write toolbar and let's try to write here and inside our toolbar so here we have the width and height of the toolbar all right So first of all we have this match parent and let's change it to wrap content the height of the toolbar then we need some okay so here we have elevation of 4 dp all right and let's try to change the background to color primary and also pop-up theme we need to set up so we can say style theme overlay dot app compact dot light and also we need app theme and that will be style theme overlay dot app compact dot dark action bar now that is it okay we have set up our toolbar and okay so we also need an id for our toolbar so we have set it up and after that what we need is we need to go to our uh, active main activity and inside that we need to include our layout so we need we can say layout equals to layout toolbar and it is now changed what has happened okay so if i try to say match parent yes okay so here we will have this toolbar here and we need to set okay so we don't need the id inside our toolbar so let's try to change the id from here and we will just set up it up here id equals to toolbar all right after we include our toolbar so here we need to have a pager sliding tab strip okay so for that we need to use page sliding tab strip all right 
and it, the width of the tapestry will be match parent and height will be we can say ATT attribute action bar size and let's try to change the background to color primary and also we need to change the text color the text color is not provided I guess let's try to check ok So we need to have an elevation of 4 dp and then we have f psts indicator color and that will be of color tab strip and also we need f psts indicator height and the height of it will be 5 dp and also we will have sts should expand and that should be true all right so after that since we have this uh, tab strip so we need another thing here and that will be view pager and it will be match parent and that height will be let's say 0 pixel and we need to use a weight of 1 and let's try to have it id as pager and also let's set it the id tab strip ok after we have the id as pager so we need a background and let's try to say android add color white okay so after that what we need is a frame layout so let's say frame layout match parent and match parent and inside that frame layout let's try to change the id as container and also we can have okay so let's re enclose that and here we have this main activity okay we have a toolbar a tab strip and after that we have a view pager the user will be able to slide left or right inside that all right guys so if you that is it in my next video we will start working on our main activity dot java okay guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye